Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stream your PlayStation 5 to your Windows computer. That could be Windows 10 or Windows 11. Doesn't really matter because the steps are pretty much identical. Now, if you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, a link to a website can be found in the video description. Some other things to keep in mind is that this can be done over a wireless connection, whether it's your PC or PS5 or both on a wireless connection, but you should have a pretty strong signal. I personally recommend that you have both devices on a wired ethernet connection on the same network if possible. The other thing to keep in mind is that Sony mentions that you can do 1080p streaming, not even 4K, but 1080p streaming does not work. For some reason, this method only caps to 720p, even though this is the official method from Sony themselves. I've had this problem even since the days of the PS4 Pro, so just keep that in mind. As of today, it's still capped at 720p. So before continuing any further, there are a couple of requirements that must be met. Don't worry, they're pretty easy. The first is that you must have a Sony PlayStation account. This is a free account, it's basically the account you're going to use to actually log into your PlayStation 5 console. Just make sure you have those credentials handy. The other thing is that your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller must have a wired connection to your computer in order to stream your PS5 to your PC. Why is that the case? I have no idea. For some reason, Sony will not support a wireless connection. Even their official website does not list anything about wireless connection. You can connect your PS5 controller to a computer using a wireless connection. I have another video explaining how to get that done. But it does not support streaming controls, unfortunately. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is set up your PlayStation 5 ready for streaming capability. So to do this, go to your main system settings menu, then system, remote play on the left, and then turn on enable remote play. While still under the system page, select power saving on the left, and then select features available in rest mode. In this section, make sure stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS5 from network are both on. What the last step basically means is that if your PlayStation 5 is ever in rest mode, you can turn it on over the network from your computer. And now you want to set up your PC for streaming. If you haven't already, connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your PC using a USB wired connection. Then you want to download the Sony Remote Play software. I'll put a link to the official Sony website which you can download it from. A link to that will be in the video description. And while on this page, scroll down to the section to streaming to a PC a new window might pop open. And I say it might because they might update this website later in the future, so things might change a little bit. On this new page, you wanna select Control your PlayStation 5 console from a Windows PC. Then the website page will change. On this new page, navigate to Install the App section. Agree to the terms and download and install the app on your computer. The first time you use the app, you'll be prompted to enter your Sony credentials. Make sure you enter the same ones as used on your console. This is what I mentioned earlier. You'll then be prompted to select how much data you want to share with Sony. You can modify your option here. At this point, you'll be prompted to connect to the PlayStation 5 console you're trying to stream from. If for any reason the connection fails after you just install this application, I recommend you reboot. Usually rebooting after installing the software for the first time fixes that issue. After your console is detected, on the left side is a small gear icon. In this settings menu, you can adjust quality of streaming. Again, for some reason, 720p is capped, as I mentioned earlier. You can adjust the frame rate, and if your PC has an HDR display, you can choose to turn on HDR mode. Then go back and connect to your console. After successfully connecting to your PlayStation 5, it'll open in a program window. You can maximize the window or make it full screen by hovering your mouse over the window. The streaming can work quite smooth, but even with a wired connection on PlayStation 5 and PC, there are some random frame rate dropping issues. I have a feeling that the streaming service still needs a bit of work, especially since 720p is a cap. I think Sony hasn't figured out how to even compress the stream efficiently, even with everything in my home being in a wired connection. But other than that, that's pretty much how you get that done. And I hope that video was useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.